and welcome to one and all my name is ghostman number one and today again we are going to be playing with maglev boats yes maglev boats is what i'm calling him and as is instructed in the title this is a tutorial to do corners yes now we can go around corners instead of going straight so without hesitation let's get on with this right Yes, I have done a slight redesign of the actual station. I will cover this in another video. There's a perfectly good reason for it. It stopped some uh, random failures, even though there was nothing different. Everything was done the same. So we're just going to place our boat down there. And now I'm also going to split the screen into two. Hopefully on the right-hand side will be me in a minecart, which are very loud and noisy. And on the left-hand screen will be me going to this boat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to time myself. Now this is going to be tricky using a phone and using the keyboard and the mouse at the same time to do this. So here we go without hesitation. Let's go into the boats. There we go. And we are away. Now we're approaching the first corner. There we go. Look at that. Nice and fast. Oh, I'm not actually going to see the other corner. You can only see 180 degrees. And away we go for the last bit. And here we go. We're almost there. And there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to head back the same way we came. Because obviously you can see the minecart is still going. And will we beat the minecart in doing it twice? Now will we? We're getting close. Are we? Oh, as you can see it's coming to the station. Yes! We beat the minecart. <laughs> we beat the minecart going there and back. Wow. See, now that is quick. That is quick indeed. And as you can see by the corners, it's not very complicated. Let's uh, just fly over there. It's really easy. We're going to build the corners in a second. Here we go. Wow. Here we are in the corners. All it is is just a pressure pad. It has to be a wooden one. And then down below is just two repeaters on different ticks. And now this bit, you're probably wondering, why have I got this bit? Now again, for some strange reasons, there are a couple of failures sometimes. So in one of your blocks, put a dropper with an axe and a slime block. Because what you can do then is put your block down like that. Break the slime block, put your slime block back in. And then fire it off. So you can fire it manually and then away you go. Like so. That's all that's about. So it's just in case. It's an in case. It's an insurance policy. You know how you've got emergency exits down on subways and undergrounds. Well, that's basically what that is. That's just to help you out in case of an emergency. But here we go. Right. Now, I have gone for a two-line approach. Yes. Uh, well, it's, if you think about it, it's not expensive to do a two-line approach. You're not using any real materials to actually build it. So that's helpful. Uh, oh, and this is also the latest snapshot. So there you go, latest snapshot up in the top corner, 15W46A, which has angered quite a lot of redstoners because of uh, them playing around with redstone blocks and comparators and all sorts, and it's powering redstone when it's not supposed to be powering redstone. So that's an interesting bug. But so far, maglev boats are still in the game. Right, let's uh, clear my infantry. Okay, yes, our first jump cut there. Uh, yes, I already built this, and... Uh, did it terribly but here we go again right so if we place all these items in our infantry now we will put the axe there because we don't need that straight off the bat we'll put the we want some slabs straight away so what we're going to do now is we're just going to build this corner out so we'll come along to and we're going to then turn the corner like so and again just the same way on this side here then what we need to do is a furnace here then a gap, and then another gap here, like so, and then you are out of the corner. So then that's your track going around this corner like so. Now, what you need to do is then get your pressure pad and place it here, and then place a block. So that's got to be a solid block for the pressure pad to activate. Now, what we want to do is underneath here, is we need to place a furnace there again. The reason why we're using furnaces or droppers in one occasion is we need to stop the slime block pulling black on the blocks. So we're then going to bring a slab out like so. And we are just going to do a quick little U shape like so. Then you're going to put a repeater on this block here and a repeater on this block here. So then that's going to be on two ticks 
and this one's going to be on three ticks. Now, all you need to do then is a bit of redstone on those like so. And then just build your block here. So that's your block there, because what's going to sit on top of here is the piston. So then you're going to put the piston like so, and you're going to three blocks tall like that. Now, next to this, I'm just going to do the emergency reset. So we're just going to build the block up like that, button on the side, and then we are going to stick a piston down like so with a slime block and just a simple redstone block. Because then all that's going to do is you're just going to activate the system via alternative means. Now, over on this side, we're going to actually replace that furnace there with a dropper. Now, the reason why I'm putting a dropper here is so you can basically put some emergency supplies in there. So I'm just going to put a slime block and an axe. As I said, sometimes the corner may fail, and I've shown you that just in the previous video. So now all we're going to do now is come down here a little bit. So we're just going to put some blocks down here. And then we need to put our piston here, like so. And on that piston, we're going to put a slime block. And then we're going to put a couple of slabs above, like so. And then off the side, we're going to put some soul sand. Now, the reason for the soul sand is the soul sand actually slows you down the most in the boat. So when you're coming along, zipping along, it's going to slow you down the most. Now, all we need to do then on the side of here is we get rid of those blocks there, and we just stick a redstone torch. Like so. And there we have it. That is the corner. And then all you'll do is when you're in your boat, you're going to slide along this pressure pad, and away you go. That's how simple that mechanism is. And again, when we're doing it in the other way, it's exactly the same thing. We're just going to quickly redo this now so you can see it on video. I must make sure I get it correct, though. That's the most complicated thing for me to do on here because I often mess this up. All right, there we go. And then as we come into the corner, so like that. That's going to continue round, like so. And again, as I said, with these corner bits, just bulk them out, so like so. So make sure they're like solid blocks. It reduces the risk of the corner failing. So then we'll just bring this through a little bit further. Now we need our furnace blocks again. And we put a furnace there, block, block, and then get rid of that blocks like so. And again, on this side, all we're going to do is we're going to put our dropper here. That way, again, we're just going to put our emergency items in there. And again, just put an axe in there as such. Right. So then we get rid of that. And then on this corner again. So this time you're doing it, just, you're just reversing it, basically. So then a full block on here. And then a pressure pad. Make sure it's a wood pressure pad. The other ones don't seem to work properly for this. Uh, I believe there is a reason. I just didn't bother to look it up. Now, what we're going to do then is go underneath. Like so. And we're going to put another irremovable block there. And again, it's just a case of them bringing your U-shape out like so. And then again, just your repeaters on here. This one on two ticks. This one on three ticks and a bit of redstone dust along like so. Then all we're going to do is we're just going to build up a block here, and then we're going to stick our piston down on top of it, like so, and then we're going to just get our slime blocks back, and then free up again, and off to one side, we're going to put our emergency button, running into our sticky piston, and then slime block, Redstone block, and that's the emergency system almost complete, apart from the button, like so. Then on this side, again, all we're going to do is we're just going to come down a little bit. And get rid of those two blocks like so. Again, slime block. And then soul sand here. Oh, soul sand there, I should say. And two blocks like that. And then lastly, all you have to do is a redstone torch there. That goes up. 
and that is the whole system done. So we we'll run it again. Perfect. Excellent. There we are. All sorted. And that's how you build the corners. You can do a single lane. It's a little bit more compact in the corner. But I will do that also in another video. Because I am going to spam this like anything. These maglev boats. So all I'm going to do now. Is I'm just going to grab my boat. And then we are going to finish this video. So on it goes. And I'm going to get in my boat. I'm going to change my view to this. And I am going to say thank you very much for watching. I have been Ghostman. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!